I'm sorry. I want to apologize. On the behalf of Chelsea Football Club, I want to apologize for Chilwell and that bombers, Conor Gallagher. Because without a doubt, those were the two worst players in that damn team. <laughs> they were the two worst players for England. So I want to just um, apologize for that. This is a friendly. So the way you are analyze this isn't how you analyze normal games, but it's more about big picture. So what do we learn? From England's point of view, we learned that England still have a very good first team. Bellingham is a crazy mad talent. Um, Leclerc and Rice is extremely good in that position. And they're still a very strong defensive team. And you saw from Pickford in that last save, they're still very good defensively. So at full strength, at full strength, England is very good. But England's talent pool is garbage. So beyond just their first team, their talent pool beyond just like their best players is crap. Because... Gallagher, Chilwell, Ollie Watkins, these guys are crap. These guys are freaking mid. So that's the, the first thing there. With regard, uh, although Bowen looked all right. Bowen looked all right, though. But I think if you're self you're like, all right, nobody here, not the first to be impressed. Brazil are mid. <laughs> Brazil, they did not impress me. And like, when I'm looking, because I'm sorry, I have such high standards for Brazil, because literally on Instagram, I was watching a video of like, you know, Dino, Rivaldo, Ronaldo back in the day, and I'm like, bro, 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 I, I know what Brazil is supposed to be, and that ain't Brazil, that ain't Brazil, Rafinha needs to, Rafinha, you have a choice, either you go to prison, or you prove you're not a Brazilian, and you stop pretending you're a Brazilian, you have a choice, if, if you carry on um, being an imposter of a Brazilian, you go to jail. 25 to life. Either that, or you say, I'm not Brazilian, I'm from Alaska. Pull a buzz, what up, baby? Skiing, wind, great skill, sup, snow. That's what you're about, because that's, Rafinha ain't Brazilian. But okay, when I'm says, Rafinha ain't Brazilian. So look for me, look, I mean, Charles, your boy, Hendrik, he got the goal, and I would have liked to see him more. I would like to see him more, because I think he's still a very raw talent. There's something there, but he's still a very raw talent. But I think, Looking at Brazil, Rodrigo, Vini, Hendrik, that's not enough to win the, the Copa America. Argentina beat those, those guys. Uruguay beat those guys. Colombia caused those guys issues. So, from that Brazil team, even if I know it's not their first team, even if you bring their super first team, that's not a team that's going to win the, the Copa America. So, they're a long... So, so yeah, that's a matter. Yeah, they ain't winning the Copa America. <laughs> not even coming close because that is such a mid-Brazil team. So, for England, I think, look, He's obviously protecting Kane because that is your real goal scorer. And I think for England, we know what it is about. It's about Bellingham and Kane. If those two guys perform, England can say what's up. Because Southgate is going to give you the blueprint and give you the foundation to, to cook. But it's down to Bellingham, who is the thinker, the creative guy and the imaginative guy and the guy with the footballing intelligence to make things happen. Kane is just there to finish. Kane, you're there to finish. Bellingham, you're there to facilitate. So between those two, that's how England can potentially win these damn Euros. But um, Gallagher and Chilwell, Jesus, Lord in heaven, man. Like the vid, hit subscribe, head over there to the official website and join us later for the hangout where we should discuss this game and more.